Cool. So recording and let me share my screen here. How's everyone doing? This is the Git Credentials Binding Project for August 4th, 7.30 a.m. in India Standard Time. Sorry, I asked a question and then I forgot I didn't introduce the meeting for the YouTube. And so I'm I, doing great, although I have to admit I did not complete the things that I had envisioned doing in terms of preparing to test. So my weekend was spent on other Jenkins things, not on, not on our project. No worries. I uh, tried reading Fastfish predicted RSA keys uh, open SSH, uh, by generating them from OpenSSH and then uh, using the SSJs uh, client they provided to connect uh, to a server, but I was unable to do so. I'm not sure why it was not connecting. It was giving me a timeout exception, but uh, it was not working for me. Yeah, the library is able to read the keys, password predicted or not password predicted, but uh, I was not able to connect and like establish uh, a SSH connection with it. So, uh, I believe Harshit uh, has found another library to do the work. Sure. Would you like to talk about the other library, Harshit? I think you're on mute if you're speaking. On here, on here. Did we lose your horse shit? No, we haven't lost him, but I don't see. Uh, he's on mute. Yeah, and oddly enough, I don't have the thing that would allow me to ask him to unmute. So is that possible? I thought in the past I, I'd had an option that would allow me to a, invite someone to unmute their, their, but I don't see it here. So maybe I'm just remembering badly, or maybe it was only from a webinar. Oh, I got it. Oh, it looks like he joined as another account. Yeah. Maybe audio problems. I'm having connection issue here. Uh, so, Richard, you asked something for uh, doubt was, or ask a question? No, no, I was just saying that uh, you found another library to do the work, right? Oh, yeah. So I, yeah. I was unsuccessful to create, like, uh, I was able to read the RSA key, but not able to establish it as a MSSH connection with this. So uh, using, as, uh, yeah, so I found out that the, the fingerprint of the private key that uh, is generated using the decrypted private key that is generated using the SSJ library is different from the fingerprint of the private key that is, you know, encrypted. So. I think due to that, we are not able to connect. So the keys are different. So the server won't able to recognize a match for that private key with the public key. Uh, but um, I just wanted to ask before you uh, introduce the new library, did you ever uh, try to read the keys and uh, use the um, this client called SSH client provided by SSH? to connect to a remote server 
using um, you know any of your uh, SSH key pair? No, you are saying to that I should connect to the SSH server that is gets to use using the SSH J library rather than the command line. I yeah, I mean the fa I, from, I thought that the fastest way to know if SSJ will be able to decrypt the keys correctly and then, uh, you know, they, it is going to provide us keys which are going to work is to use their own client to establish a connection with uh, any server, any, you know, any place which has a 22 port open and we can establish a connection with it. If that is possible, then those keys, we can be sure that uh, SSJ is not creating an issue for us. I mean, um, but you you found a new library, right? And yeah, yeah, and you were, yeah. Please move forward. Okay. The new library, is, you know, the Apache SSH D. So even Jenkins has a plugin for that. Uh, it's called SSH Server. So currently, I'm facing a dependency issue in the Git plugin do do this because the SSH server is an implied dependency and there's, I don't think that there is any direct, uh, you know, de defined, you know, explicitly defined dependency or SSH of the SSHD. So, and it's using a version that is below 3.10 so and the code is very much different from the one that is that we want to use uh, have you used the have you used this library to uh, use rsa passwords protected keys and then work with them were you able to do that yeah it worked with them and I was able to establish the connection as well. But the issue I'm facing is, you know, the, the dependency issue. So I think I mentioned it on the GitHub chat. So to what should we do next, right? Should we define this dependency explicitly in Git plugin and if we do that, then we have to, you know, increase the Jenkins version where more than two point above, I think it's 2.8. But currently the Jenkins version Git plugin is 2.2, .2, something like that, or 2.6, like, I'm not sure about that. Harshit, are you saying that that a, a newer version of Jenkins core has the version of SSHD that you need? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Yes. So, so that's a great excuse for us to. And what what version of Jenkins core has that? It's two point. Let me check on the beta chat. I mentioned that. Wait nine dot one. Yeah. 2.289.1 or 2.282. Okay, so so if we upgrade upgrade our dependency to require Jenkins 2.289.1, then we get the SSHD that you need. Yeah, and if we explicitly define, yeah, sorry. No, no worries. Uh, yeah, and I think I think you're saying that either one of these SSH server plugins would work. Yeah. So these have the the version of the Apache SSHD library that we need, and that supposedly the decryption of the open SSH keys. Yeah. Below, so then. Below, yeah. It seems like a simple answer to me. We upgrade the minimum Jenkins version to 2.289.1. I like that. I Do mean, you have we, any preference, Mark, on whether they pick 
we pick uh so it looks like there's two plugins there's 310 and 304 um one of them is a higher jenkins version and one of them is a slightly lower one the other one's 2.282 not sure if you have any i i've, I've had a, i've i've biased in the past towards choosing an lts version mm -hmm. uh, and in this ah. case i don't think we've got a lot of users that would be on 283 through 289, but not on LTS, right? So for me, the preference is LTS. Yeah, that makes sense. Because weekly, I mean, weekly, you should upgrade weekly, actually, because for instance, 2.300 has a security fix in it. And if you're, if you're choosing to run week weekly, but you're still on 2.282, you're in danger. So, but if you're on 2.289.2, uh, you're not in danger because the security fix is backported to it. So making it 2.289.1 seems very reasonable to me. And I knew we knew we were going to have to eventually upgrade. Yeah, there will be people who say, but I want to run the credentials binding without having to upgrade to 289.1. And the answer is, sorry, you can't. So, so Harsh, it, feel, it sounds like then what your technique would be is you'll set the Jenkins.version in, uh, in the palm to be 2.289.1, and then you can use that, that library that we've, that's available. Okay. I mean, certainly there will be people who say, hey, I cannot upgrade to 2.289.1. And if, if we had, for instance, to do a security fix, we may have to deliver multiple versions of that security fix. So for people who can't go all the way to, to 2.289.x, but I'm fine with that. We've done that before. Does the Git plugin already rely on SSH server plugin? I don't, I didn't think it did directly, but um, let's check. I, I mean, that may be a circular dependency. I'm not sure what that will mean because I would expect the SSH server plugin probably relies on the Git plugin. Let's yeah. see. So if we look at... Just looked at Git plugin. It's not in there. And I looked at Git client plugin and it's not in there. Oh, I'm not sharing that screen, sorry. Okay, Git, plug, Git server does not depend on the Git plugin, at least not directly declaring it. Oh, that's fun. And the Git server plugin requires Jenkins 2.289.1 as well. So we're in good company, Harshan. I guess the one question I have is, do we want to take a dependency on the... Uh, SSH server plugin. Well, so so when I look at, I'm not sure it's SSH server plugin. Can you could you take a dependency on org.jenkins-ci.modules sshd and use that dependency? So I think uh, no, that's the SSHD plugin that you're looking at. Okay. Yeah. Okay, what's what's the what's the um, uh, what do you call it? The address of that thing, the coordinates of that thing you're looking at. Is it org.jenkins-ci.modules? Yeah, it is. Okay, so that's the thing that that SSH server or that Git server plugin depends on, and I think so. Harshit is is SSHD from Apache or from this code the thing that provides the method you need. Or do you need something that's actually in the Git server plugin? The Git server plugin actually has the, yeah. So if you see like the on line mm -hmm. 53, so it yeah. actually has the latest version of the library that we need. So either we can depend on it directly or we could depend on the Apache. Oh, okay. So all, all you need is org Apache SSHD. Yeah. 
oh good, then we just should depend directly on that. And if that means in order to, but in order to make that load, then we have to increase the, the Jenkins version number to 2.289.1? Yes. Okay. Uh, why do we need to increase the Jenkins number to, uh, this is this is an external dependency, right? To an external library. If we are choosing to use SSD code. No, we have to increase. Uh, if you can see on line 34, uh, but also if we, you know, define an external dependency that is SSSD Apache, then in the Maven dependency tree, it will be used rather than the, uh, it will be used in for the SSSD ser server or in a plugin, Jenkins plugin. So instead of, because currently that plugin is using the library version 1.7. So after we externally define it, it will be updated to 2.7. So uh, in, you know, implicitly we are changing the library dependency of that plugin only. No, but uh, you can exclude the depend since you're, you're going to directly use this library, this dependency, then you can exclude that from the, the plugin, which requires a, a newer Jenkins um, version. And then you can use directly this. So I don't understand why would we need a new Jenkins version for that. I mean, if you're excluding it from that plugin and using this instead. Plugin or the library that the plugin has, or the dependent. Yeah, SSD code. SSHD code. This is the exact library you need. Sure. This has the code, uh, the, uh, um, the, the API as a functionality you need to decrypt the keys, right? To read the keys. Yeah. So, so back to Rishab's question, but to ask it in the form of a question. Is org.apache.sshd.sshd-core version 2.7.0 enough for you to have the API you need, Harshit? Or do you need yes. something that is, it is. Yeah, okay, so then I, I'm prone to agree with, with um, Rishab that we should at least try to just depend on that library. If that still requires us to upgrade Jenkins.version, that's fine. It's acceptable to do that, absolutely. But I would rather directly depend on that Apache library than depend on a plugin that includes that Apache library. Yeah, because what will happen is if you depend on the plugin directly, when someone wants to install SSH, or sorry, when they, they will need to they will basically get SSHD plugin installed too, along with the Git plugin. Well, and, and I think SSHD plugin is an unavoidable plugin because it was bundled in core. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. I, I think okay. so. I think there's, I think SSHD plugin is one that was discussed just recently on the mailing list with, wow, why is this there? I don't need SSHD. And the answer is, well, because it was bundled in core and years ago and thus it's still, it's API still has to be available in core. Okay, well, ignore me. <laughs> yeah. Even you that see the effective sense. poem of the Git plugin, you, could, you can find that plugin. The SSD plugin is defined, but the version is changed only. So you're saying that the Apache SSHD core library is already in the the Git plugins no, dependency the tree? SS, SSD plugin, the Jenkins SSD plugin, I'm sorry. I was talking about the Jenkins SSD plugin, not on the actual Apache library. Okay, so so I, I'm, I apologize, I must have missed a word. So the Jenkins SSHD plugin already includes this and i think that's what we're looking at right now right yeah that's what what justin's showing us is that that apache library is included inside the sshd plugin agreed but my thought was 
if all you need is that Apache library, then all we should depend on is that Apache library with its, its specific version number. That the Git plugin, you know, implicitly depends on that SSSD plugin. So it, it, even if oh, it does. Yeah, it does. I was saying that in the effective poem of the Git plugin, you will see the SS, Jenkins SSD plugin dependency available there. But the version see. is, you know, low, lower. But we can override that, right? We can say that we don't want that, we don't want SSD code from that plugin. Instead, we'll use our own. Yeah, but, but I think, mean, I think, oh, go ahead, Harshan. That would mean that we are upgrading the version of the core only. Like we are not replacing, we are upgrading the version of core for the S Jenkins SSD plugin. Uh, I'm not sure how that would mean that because uh, the SSD plugin comprises of, I'm not, it, it's not just SSD core, right? It's, it's, it's a collection yeah. of multiple libraries. Yeah. And if you choose to um, use a newer version of another library, how would it increase the some version of the SSD plugin? Because in the dependency tree, if we look at the library that, you know, the dependency that is on the top will be used rather than dependency on the bottom. So the plugin that is using a dependency of pre lower version will be upgraded to higher version. So explicit, uh, so I can say implicitly we are, you know, using a core SSD core of version 2.7.0 only instead of the lower version that is 1.7.0 ah look at that okay i think i understand what you're telling us arshad Okay, so I did what you what you described, which is I ran Maven dependency colon tree, and in the output of that, there is a dependency on org.jenkins-ci-modules sshd version two point seven, which then itself has a dependency on s on the Apache library core uh, jar or core sshd core one point seven point zero. Now, if we upgrade, I'm not sure if this actually works from Maven. If I force it to Jenkins 2.289.1, does it then already tell me, hey, we have a newer version of SSHD core? Just a minute. Odd when I tell it to depend on to, to require Jenkins 2.289.1, it doesn't even have a dependency on SSHD core. Interesting. Okay, but you you've done the experiment, Harshit, and you said that by upgrading the by forcing the Jenkins Jenkins dot version to 2.289.1, you get the you get access to the SSHD core library version you need. I'm Great. saying that I, I will defining the dependency explicitly, and as the, as Rishabh also pointed out, I was defining the SS, Apache SSD dependency or explicitly both. I mean, I was trying to experiment that, so that will indirectly tell us to 
upgrade the Jenkins version. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think I think that's the right approach. I think we should accept that in order to get this functionality, they have to at least be running Jenkins 2.289.1 because we need the version of SSHD core that Apache provides and that is that is available only beginning with 2.289.1. That's that's great. So, uh, Harshit, with this library, you were, uh, is, was there a, a specific um, algorithm you were, you face an issue with, or uh, this library solves the problem we face with SSJ? Yeah, so, if we are using this library, so the working keys are actually, or well, in OpenSSJ, format they will be you know rsa ecdsa ed25519 and dsa so actually all the algorithms encryption algorithms that are supported by the sss keys in utility That's and they were working also That's great. You don't even have to use another library to do that. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I was thinking of, you know, using the, there's a PEM format, uh, support for PEM formatted keys or PKCS8 format keys in the, in that library as well. But uh, the, there's an issue opened on the, you know, mailing list that says that the PKCS8 PEM encoded key is not yet supported. So as I have to switch back to Bouncy Castle plugin. Um, okay, Fent, you're talking about PKCS8 uh, encrypted keys. PEM encrypted, yeah. PEM encoded keys, yes. So, but they are not supported in the library, SSHD library, so. But um, so my question is that, do we want to first focus on the, on the algorithms or on the use cases, which, which will be 90% of what we're going to serve or uh, I'm not sure how, how many, in how many cases we're going to see the PKCS8 encrypted or PEM encoded format keys. I was just doing an experiment with that because yeah. the SSD library has a lot of functionality and mm. there is, I mean, a lot of support also. So I was trying to figure out if I could mostly use all of that and instead of depending on the bouncy castle API, but you know, it was not supported in that. Yeah, I mean, I think like, like we talked about the last time, you probably could start with you know, just loading in support for the top ones. Um, and if we find that, you know, PEM support's not working, we can document that as unsupported and that's a Jira ticket or something like that for later. Right. Okay, so, I mean, should I then use the SSHD plugin or, well, actually if we use both, then we have all the keys working in a, on all formats. When you say both, you mean SSD and Bouncy Castle? Yeah, both the libraries. There's no additional cost of using uh, Bouncy Castle, then we should. I mean, if everything is working, then why not? I'm not sure what Martin Justin has to say on that. Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess from a from a process and work perspective, like if it's easy for you to get them all in one PR, like maybe that's okay. Uh, I guess one thing I could see is like if it's hard to start getting the bouncy castle stuff, then maybe it's a good idea to start with the the most uh, critical algorithms to cover and then do those in a PR. Uh, but then I, I also realized there's some testing and stuff like that involved too. So uh, those are the things that I would think about for that, if that makes sense. Yes. So uh, one doubt I have is that should I, you know, explicitly define the, I say the plugin that the Jenkins module SSS D plugin, right? In the poem of the it plugin. Sorry, ask that question again. It was, should you define explicitly define the version of SSHD-core in the POM file for the Git plugin? On the SSH Jenkins SSD plugin, should I explicitly make a dependency in the Git plugin? Or should I use the Apache SSD core? Dependency? For, me, for me, I would use the Apache SSHD core to, to make the, the dependency as narrow as possible. So as narrow, only as, only as wide as you need. Yeah, you, and, okay. and also explicit on what you exactly need to. It's kind of a nice practice. All right, now, now no guarantee that that still, that that will work because of the nature of that SSHD plugin being a formerly bundled plugin you may still be forced to, to set the Jenkins minimum version to 2.289.1. Yeah, I will have to. Okay, good. And, and, and just to reiterate, that's, that's perfectly okay. We want people to upgrade and this is a good motivation for them to upgrade. So I'm going to put that in our notes here too. Switch to minimum Jenkins 2289.1 and depend directly on SHD core 1.7.0. And you're going to do that in the Git plugin, right? Well, no, it will depend directly on SSHD core 2.7.0, I think it is. The current oh, is version it? is 1.7.0, and that's oh. in two, yeah, 2.7. I bet. Uh, and then that'd be in the Git plugin, right? Not in the Git client plugin. Yeah, and it's SSHD, Justin. Just that extra H. You got me. Yeah. Thank you. There yeah. we go. Thanks. We can do it. <laughs> I have a question. Um, I, I, I was also looking at the dependency um, graph, and uh, I can see, that as, as Harshit mentioned, that. Um, in the Jenkins core jar, we're getting the SSHD core, SSHD um, plugin uh, as a test score. Can we not remove this uh, altogether? Do we need the SSHD plugin for anything? Do we need it? Yes, in order to run tests. Is that what you're saying? Is that it's a Git plugin test dependency? I was, uh, yeah, okay, we, we use this different. I just thought that this is being bundled, but we don't use it. No, no I'm, well, so the J, the Git plugin definitely does not bundle the SSHD plugin. So so I'm not sure, maybe you need okay. to explain to me more more clearly what you're, what you're meaning by the, by bundling. Do you mean the Jenkins core bundling it or the Git plugin bundling it? No, no, Jenkins, we're getting this from Jenkins Core, right? Right. And uh, is the Git plugin using uh, this library? As far as I know, it uh, is not right. today. Yes, my question was that, can we not just remove this, uh, exclude this and um, use SSHD, SSHD Core directly? The plugin altogether. I, 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 we may be able to, but I don't know what that will do on a Jenkins 2.263.1 when the Git plugin wants to load SSHD core 2.7.0, but Jenkins has already loaded 
1.7.0 of the SSHD core plugin because of the built-in uh, SSHD plugin that's using SH SSHD core 1.7.0. Okay. So I would expect Jenkins will say, I've already loaded SSHD core. I refuse to load another one. And then we'll be stuck because Git plugin no, won't be able to find the APIs it needs that are only available with newer than 1.7.0. Harshit, I think I was describing it correctly. Do you need to correct something I said there and tell me, no, Mark, you made a mistake? Mark, you are right. There is an error. They will. I, I actually have faced the error myself. So I know the error will be, you know, no class, no class found exception. You know, that was coming because the library that was loaded was one SSD core 1.7, and I need the libraries of SSD core 2.7. So there was, I, I was stuck for, you know, for one day whole one day figuring out what why why is it ha this happening so then i figured out that this for dependency issues great thank you well and, and oh. welcome welcome to maven's dependency tree <laughs> cool So that sounds really positive. Does that uh, kind of help you with all the questions you have for, for that specific one, Harshit? Yeah. You know, so for, I mean, I'm currently focused on this issue only. So I have not even worked on other issues, but I'm just focusing on this issue. Sure. But, but but this issue is I think this is a major victory that you've you've reached as far as you have. Keep going. That's great. And, and did you see Harshit that we have one more person who's interested in in the work and it did some experiments. We can ignore their results if we need to, but I was delighted. It's great that we got people who want to use your code. Uh, I mean, I missed it, I guess. Oh, I guess. Who is it? So I, I had closed a bug report from someone who asked for the ability to, to add a special case to the Jenkins Git publisher that would allow it to push, push multiple tags. And uh, the person actually submitted a pull request to the Git plugin saying, hey, here's the implementation. And it was a good implementation. They did a good job with it. Uh, but I closed that pull request and said, nope, we're going to do this with with this Google Summer of Code project. And so the person then went and took the latest build from the pull request and tried it. So you'll find a comment on the pull request where the person says, hey, it didn't work for me, here's this, but given what you're working on with SSHD, I'm not at all surprised that it didn't work for, the, for, the, for this person. I have to see that comment and the progress that he has made. Yeah, I will, it's... I will, yeah, I will make sure that I will make a reply to that. Is it this one? Yes, yes, that's it. That's the one. Cool. Yeah, and, and I pointed the user and said, hey, use username, password, it works now. And he said, no, I have to have private key. And this is his effort trying to work with private key. So that's great. Nice. Yeah. Yes, it, it didn't work. That's, that's not a problem. The fact that <laughs> we've got one more person trying it is really great. Mark, did you have any opinions on... Um the PEM format and including Bouncy Castle in the in the next PR, or do you think that should be like a separate PR? What's your? Yeah, I'd, I'd rather, I've never once 
in all the time I've dealt with private keys, never once used a PEM format private key with, with SSH. So I don't, I think that can be separate. Let's get the other things working and be confident we're tested and we've checked them in all sorts of configurations. So at least for me, I'm not worried about PEM format right now. That sound okay, Harshit? Yeah, great. You get to deliver more value faster. <laughs> I, mean, I will try to make the PR. I mean, I will try to make the PR by today for the open SSH format support. Uh, I mean, let's hope for the best. Cool. Are we also um, are we also covering the cases or um, thinking about uh, the cases when uh, SSH keygen did not produce open SSH uh, keys before this format was adopted? Uh, I think I think we'll get that. As a result, we'll get test cases for that based on the 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 tests that I intend to run with generating keys on CentOS 7 and on Debian 9, because those are relatively older SSH implementations. So I think we'll get test data. And even uh, what I hope the test data will then tell us is, yes, it works with the SSHD core. No, it does not. And if it does not, we, we will probably just initially say, known to not work. You must use a modern key format. Does that does that seem okay to you, Rishab? Yeah, yes, I think. Uh, uh, actually, I think I, I, I'd rather uh, look at what Harshit's code is. I, I look at his implementation, um, how it depends on these algorithms, how it functions with these algorithms. Is it? Uh, uh, do you have to write different code for each of them? Like, is there a uh, different? Um, I, I'll just look at the code. And I think, uh, Mark, that should be fine for us that we uh, we run those tests and then we figure out how that's going to work. Any other doubts or topics we should talk about? Yeah, so the current PM that I have opened for the SSH binding, I should change that for open specific to open SSH format. So I should I'm not sure I understood the all the all the details with the audio. So were you asking, should you alter the current pull request to only support open SSH formats? Yeah. And then I, I, make a PR for the ones we can sell. Yeah, for me, I think that that seems reasonable. If that's, if that's easy enough for you, I, that'd be the way I would go. If, if you find it easier to combine them into a single PR, and still allow us to do allow me and others to do testing that that's fine too but for me a separate pr with the bouncy castle work feels better just because i want to be sure that rsa and ed25519 keys work because those are the keys that are important to me yeah actually if i remove the bouncy castle they are like four five lines of code that will be affected i mean the rest of the code uh. won't be even affected Okay. Minimum there are four four lines of code adding for the Well then system. then it may not be worth your spending the time to remove it. That that's entirely up to you. Yeah. I I just don't want to be blocked testing RSA or ED25519 
because of a format that I don't use. Now, other people may have a, a very different opinion and say, hey, I use PEM format all the time, but I truly do not recall ever using a, no, maybe I guess I did use one once because some of the cloud vendors give you a PEM format key. So I, I guess maybe I have used one, but it, it's, it's very rare for me. Yeah, I no have a reference, Harshit. Sorry, I'm, uh... oh, I'm sorry. Do you have a preference on which way to go, like whether to include it or not, or? I think I, I want to go with the included one. So. Great. Okay. Yeah, and and now that I look at my config file, I was just wrong. Um, when I connect to the system 390 mainframe that IBM has lent to us, lent to the Jenkins project, I'm using a PEM format key. And it works great. So yeah, I think if we include it, we can always just declare that, you know, something's not supported if, you know, even if it goes in with the PR, right? Mm-hmm. Sounds like we've got a path forward. Anything else we want to talk about? Or any other doubts? Um, I'm good for today. Okay. Rashad, Mark, I'm good. Uh, great for me as well. Thanks, Harshit. Thanks very much. And congrats on finding the solution to the SSHD core challenge. Yeah. yeah. This is awesome. Yeah, it is. Great. Well, we'll close her down early then. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, all. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye. Hey.